Hello viewers, welcome back. We are now looking at our last item in this chapter 2 of Excel settings. And now we are looking at add-ins as our last video on that chapter in our Excel fundamental course. So, after our last discussion, now we want to shift things over here. We want to click on adding and discuss the different add-ins that you could add into Microsoft Excel. So we've done with our quick access toolbar, now we go to add-ins. So you can see up here under active application add-ins these are active application add-ins under here you are seeing we have macabacus as our active add-in meaning we installed macabacus in our microsoft excel which we will be discussing with you in in a moment of time because we need this to be in our advanced courses but also not notice down below their inactive application add-ins down here we have inactive application add-ins and one of them that we are seeing up there we are seeing analysis tool pack. So by having those inactive application add-ins, you have the opportunity to add in the different add-ins that you want. For example, the analysis tool pack. And for analysis tool pack, this is one that we recommend since we are going to use it for regression analysis in some of our coming courses. So, as long as you stay connected to our channel, you subscribe, you hit the notification bell icon to have these notifications set in to make sure that at least every upload we have, you can actually see what has been uploaded and what is yet to be uploaded because in these videos we communicate what is next so that you know when it pops up but you can only know when we have turned on the notification bell icon because it acts as a reminder in every new video has been uploaded so as we've said we recommend that we activate the analysis tool pack so let's look at how easy it is or it would be to add in the analysis tool pack for example and i want you to follow along so that you can actually know how we add this in so the analysis tool pack there are two have analysis tool pack vba vba these are also in our advanced Excel courses, but we shall discuss about those ones. We don't need to worry in later videos. But for now, let's select the analysis tool pack, the first one. So that's the one that we want to add into our active add-ins. So what do we do? We go down here to the bottom here to the bottom that bottom left corner where it says manage excel add-ins manage excel add-ins so now we have to click on this word go when you do that you will find that we will get that dialog box that you are seeing on the screen in other words, that dialog box comes up. 
we simply click on the analysis tool pack because it's the one that we want. We click on it like that. Macabacus is already in. If you want to turn it off, you turn it off from here. I can also turn it, turn Macabacus off because the software expired. I was using it, but subscription expired, so I don't actually need it. That's why I'm turning it off. But just know it is there. So when you click on that analysis tool pack and you come here and click OK, just like that. So now it means we have added it. Since we have added that in, if we go back into the options, how do we go back into the options? By using the Alt, F for file, 0, 0 for more. Use the down arrow to go to options, enter. And now we are back into options. You may find that other softwares, you may find you have to just place Alt plus F plus T. You find when they don't have so many things there. We spoke about it in previous videos. So we now want to check if that has been added. So we go to add-ins. And now we are seeing under the active application add-in, we have analysis tool pack. So it has been added. Oh, it has been, it has now been activated. So we can escape out of that dialog box. And as we mentioned, the Macabacus adding earlier, for those that may be subscribed to, to that, you may find that it is available in here. If you don't see it, and if you don't, if you never subscribe to it, you may not actually have a look at it. But that's something that we may actually look at in our coming videos. So that's the end of our Excel, Excel settings. And now we want to go to the practical aspect and it's going to be in our next video. And this is a different chapter or it is called chapter three. It is going to start by looking at the best financial setup. We want to look at the financial setup Remember, our focus is basically accounting and finance. That's our area of emphasis. We are not teaching ICT, but we are focusing on ICT because we are doing financial models in Excel. So I want to look at, if you are to do a financial model, what are some of the best financial setups that you need to put in place before you actually have a template or have a model built? using Excel. So we shall look at the objectives of the chapter and we see what we are going to be covering in that chapter. So let's see you in the next video as we look at the best financial setup.